Hello everyone and welcome back to Grafter Technology. I hope you have subscribed. If you haven't done so, please hit that red button and like this video as well. I'm sure you're conversant with this data here. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about subtotal. Subtotal. Now, subtotal is used to summarize or outline your data. You can use it to create groups automatically as well as add function like sum, count, average, etc. to help you summarize your data very well. The example I'll be showing you here is how you can use subtotal in your data sheet. Now, before you apply subtotal to your data, you need to sort that data by the column you want to summarize. Again, before we can add or apply subtotal the data has to be sorted by the column we want to summarize now i want to summarize this based on age i want to find the number of athletes that are 20, 23 years old 24 21 22 24 and thereabouts number of athletes that are in each group of age so before that before i do the subtotal i need to do what sort by age now i have to select everything to the last part and stop at that point scroll up now i go to the home tab that's editing group and here is sort and filter click the down arrow Always choose a custom sort because it gives your work a very nice um, sorting. So once you click and get the sort dialog box, remember we are sorting by age because that's where we want to apply the subtotal to. Sort by what age? Sort value always leave it at that point. We want to sort by age, so I'll sort it based on smallest to largest. In ascending order and you can choose largest to smallest in descending order so i'll leave it at smallest to largest and click ok so you can see at the age now i have 20 21 and all of that now you can then apply your subtotal subtotal well it has to be still selected as it is now go to the data tab locate the outline group and there you are there it is the subtotal button click on that once your subtotal button comes out the first one says at each change in at each change in what this box simply means is select the column that will be the basis for the subtotal select the column that will be the basis for the subtotal so if i click the down arrow these are different, the, the column headings that I have here, name, sports, event, gender, and so forth. Now select the column that will be the basis for the subtotal. Remember, we're talking about gender. No, we're talking about age. So it has to be age. So I select age. Use function. Pick the function that you will be using. What do I want to do? I want to know the number of athletes that are 20 years, 21 years, 22 years, and so forth. So I have to use a function that will allow me to know that. So if I click the down arrow here, I will see different functions. And for me to know that, I will need to use the count function. Because count function can tell me how many athletes are 20 years, how many athletes are 21 years, and so forth. So I click the count function. Now add subtotal to. Add subtotal to simply means finally check the column where you want the subtotal to appear. Check the column where you want the subtotal to appear. I like the subtotal to still appear under the age column so I'll check the age column and uncheck this particular one so if you look at it I have the age and I have the age at that point so 
that's what this simply means here leave it as it is and click the ok once you click the ok you would see that your work is being grouped or summarized as you want now if you look here you would see 20 those that are 20 years old are two two athletes are 20 years old i scroll down 21 years 13 athletes are 21 years old i scroll again 22 years 23 athletes are 22 years old. So, I scroll, you will see 23 years, 23 count, 31 athletes are 33 years old. So, I scroll 24 years old, 9 athletes are 24 years. 25 years, 2 athletes, you can see 1, 2 athletes. 27, 2 athletes. 28 three athletes and that's it then at the end of this part it gives you the total count and it gives you the ground count you can see the ground count here or the um, ground total count here is 87 there's something i'd like you to understand at this point yeah, there are different levels when it comes to subtotal you see different levels at this point level one two and three now the level three is what you see here in the screen or in your window the level two provides your subtotal subtotal 21 years to 29 years and here the age gives you two people at 20 years 21 years 13 people and so forth and the current total or current count is your 87 okay now this is how we chose it because we said HH so it's in this format it depends how you choose your stuff now that's our subtotal if I go to the level one the level one gives me the grand total okay so you can remove subtotal from your data sheet if you don't want it anymore once it's still selected, like you can see here, you still go to your data tab, the outline group, you'll see your subtotal, and you would find remove all button. So when I click the remove all button, you would see that I have removed the subtotal that I applied. So let's check out again and change the columns that we want our subtotal to appear. So age count. At this point, maybe I should choose this particular stuff. Cost per Olympia. I will uncheck that point and take what it was initially and say OK and see what it gives me. All right. So this is a little bit more clear for you to understand, but not that. So it's 20 count two people. OK, if this is clearer for you to understand. 21 years are 13 people 22 years are 23 people 23 years 31 people 24 just exactly the same thing that happened initially i just wanted to you know have the sum subtotal summarized at a different column so that's what your subtotal does i'll take that out remove all Okay, in summary, subtotal can make your worksheet more organized, less coddled, and easier to view. You can see it was quite easier for you to understand and see how many um, people, how many athletes are 20 years old, and it grouped them quite nicely. So if I go back and do that and say, okay, here, subtotal allows you to see that your work is more organized if you go to level two subtotals here your work are more organized age it will show you two like that 
and it gives you the grand total of everything. So keep these features in mind whenever you want to summarize your data. So subtotal is like you summarizing your data to see what actually you want to see. So when you hear the word summarize your data, then you should be thinking of subtotal. All right, I hope you do enjoy this video and it's quite clear. If you don't or you do want me to explain further, please drop your comments in the comment sections below and I will respond to them. Bye.